Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jeff Teagan, Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're talking Toyota Tacoma, the best-selling mid-size truck in America. There are a lot of different configurations and way to get the perfect truck for you, for your business, and for your family. Well, TRD Sport can be confusing when you get double cab. You've got two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, short bed, long bed, lots of different option packages. I think I've accounted for a lot of it. We're gonna check them all out so you can compare and pick the best one. <laughs> the first volunteer is 2021 Tacoma Sport in super white. This is a two wheel drive and it's a long bed. The next one here is 2021 Tacoma Sport, double cab, four wheel drive, short bed, silver sky metallic. And here's the extra caveat. This one right here, this has a few extra packages. Technology package, LED light package, and the premium sport package. Now let's have some fun. Let's take a look right here. You can see that this is a six foot bed in front and a five foot bed behind. So the benefit here is to somebody who's going to want to put longer items in their bed. The disadvantage might be some would consider it a little bit tougher to park and things like that. It's really up to you. Another thing you might want to think about is whether you want to have an open bed or whether you're going to need, let's say you got a big long road trip from Michigan to North Carolina like my parents did last week. Well, they might want a covered bed. It's an easy way. You can do a soft shell or you can do a hard shell like this one and it opens up, but it keeps everything clean, probably dry as well. And from flying out, duh. Since we're not filming this one in the dark, we're gonna be filming it under the trees in the shade. Number one, it's a lot cooler. Number two, I can show you as best I can for the situation, LED lights versus non-LED lights, because this is something that people are asking for in Tacoma. This Tacoma here is stock, it's factory, and it has yellow headlights, yellow fog lights. It does have LED daytime running lights. Now this one here has been upgraded, so it's got LED headlights, LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights. It looks crisp and sharp. I mean, they're both Tacoma, so you're gonna be happy either way. This one, it lasts a long time. They project farther and wider. So if I'm driving on a country road at nighttime or maybe even a subdivision, it can show on the sides of the road. I always say like, if there's a deer there, you can see it at nighttime or maybe a parked car or somebody just walking where you wouldn't expect them to walk. So. Which one do you like better? And let's look a little bit closer at these lights. This is the LED light package. Here's our dark gray three-dimensional grill that you see on all Tacoma Sports along with the hood scoop. You can see the Silver Sky hood scoop as well. It has a color keyed bumper. Toyota Safety Sense on this one. So you'll see radar technology here and camera technology right here. Now let's look at the yellow. Ooh, let's look at them both. Holla, Jeff in the house. I do wanna see if we can see that LED light strip right along here. And there. Do you have a preference? This is the LED package. Now the technology package, what does that give you? Well, number one, it gives you blind spot monitor in your side mirrors. It gives you rear cross traffic alert so that you can see when you're backing up if there's a car behind you or coming from the sides or a person. You'll also see with this parking sensor, it has the black sensors right here all the way across. The other one does not. That's part of what you're gonna see with technology package. And it's a great safety feature. Is that important to you? This is the non-technology package, no parking sonar. This is the technology package, parking sonar. Technology package on a Tacoma? Inconceivable. And I'm gonna show the blind spot monitor right there. So that's what you get. It's in the side mirror. We'll do it again. Isn't it nice to get a second opinion as you're getting ready to move over from side to side? Safety! We're gonna start with the Silver Sky interior and we're gonna just give a view of it without the premium sport package. So you'll see two-tone sport fabric seats.
Let's go this angle. You will not see a moonroof here. And then we'll look along. It's just going to have the 8-inch multimedia touchscreen, auto-dimming rearview mirror. And this is the view in the front. We're also going to look at the window stickers after that. So if you want to see specs, pricing, so you can know how much each of these packages costs, stick around. This is the premium sport package, and here's what you get on the super white. First of all, up top, we will notice light coming in because it has a moonroof as part of the premium sport package. You'll also see leather seating with heated front seats. That's a feature a lot of folks like. You do have to get the moonroof with the leather seats and heated seats. If one of those is important to you, you'll have to get them both. Or you can do, I guess, the leather seats aftermarket. It has an embossed texture to it. Quite comfortable. We're going to see that it has dynamic navigation system. I'll show you the multimedia screen. It also has JBL speakers and auto headlights. So if you want premium sound, the premium sport package might be for you. We're going to go inside here and look over. You will see that this has the dynamic navigation system so it updates in real time when it needs to jbl speakers if you want concert like sound in your truck this may be the way to go the stock system is just fine jbl is superior i guess it's a matter of opinion though you might not agree with me that's the beauty of my channel believe me i get lots of different opinions on every subject on my channel so i get it we're going to compare both window stickers so we can see, first of all, we've got a TRD Sport two-wheel drive double cab. Okay, that's the base, and it's 34.5. The four-wheel drive is going to be more. TRD Sport 4x4 double cab long bed, that's going to be 38.1. So 38.1 versus 34.5, so around $3,600 difference between the two configurations there. San Antonio, Texas, you'll see the other one's made in Mexico. Here are the safety ratings, the fuel mileage. This one, two-wheel drive is going to combine for 21. You'll see that the four-wheel drive combines for 20, so a little bit of a downtick. All right, we'll look at performance on this one. 278 horsepower, 265 pounds of torque, in the 3.5 liter V6 Atkinson cycle engine. Toyota Safety Sense. Comes with Safety Connect and Remote Connect too, which is good. It's getting windy out here. I bet my things are gonna blow away. We're gonna keep going. Exterior, 17 inch alloy wheels, eight inch multimedia touch screen, power driver seat, so it said fabric trim seats. We're gonna take this price there are no other factory standard options or factory added options, I should say. Get it delivered, 1175, that makes it 357. Each vehicle is going to have something on it probably that's gonna complete it or make it its own. This has Predator Step Bars, Toyo Guard Platinum, all weather floor mats, the LED interior light upgrade, paint protection on the door seam, mud guards. Love adding mud guards. This one's 38,000. Now we're gonna go over here to this one. Remember, this is 38.1 to start. So this is going to be more, especially with all the option packages on it. Here's where the fuel mileage changes. Instead of 21, 19, 24, it's 20, 18, 22, hike. All right, we're going to come over here. See our standard features. A lot of this is going to be the same, except for, of course, the four-wheel drive part of it. All right, now over here, see the LED headlights with daytime running lights, black bezel, LED fog lights, premium sport package. Look at all the things it adds, but it's a big price tag. Are you willing to pay that? Technology package, that's an excellent value. When you got a truck, it's nice to have that backup sonar and the blind spot monitor. It just is. 44.4, 4. 
Now we're gonna add in that hard tonneau cover, Predator step bars, all weather mats, paint protection on the door, and mud guards. 46.9. So there's a big difference between 46.9 and 38.0. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I appreciate you all being part of my community. If you want to see more videos and give your opinions and thoughts and comments and interact with me, then click subscribe. You can hit the notification bell. That alerts you when I come up with the next video so you can be one of the first people to write first or frist or capital first or capital frist. However you want to do it. I've seen it all different ways. But you're first! Woohoo! So hit that notification bell. And then like the video if you thought I did a good job with this one or maybe entertained you a little bit. I don't know. I might have done nothing for you. Anyway, which one do you like better? Do you like the two-wheel drive, the four-wheel drive, the long bed six-foot, or the short bed five-foot? Which one's better for you? What about the technology package? Premium sport package? Or LED light package? Are those important to you? What about the extra options you might have seen? Do you like that hard shell top on there? Thanks everyone so much. I appreciate you all. Also, if you like this channel, you may like my all-encompassing automotive channel, Auto Jeff Reviews. Just click subscribe to Auto Jeff Reviews and like or whatever you want to do. I'd appreciate you checking it out. We look at all different brands today. Today we're going to be evaluating the Ford Bronco Sport. So if that's of interest to you, check it out. We've done lots of other brands already and I've only done 13 videos on my channel already. Woo! Actually, I think it's 12, but 13 is coming. So follow along, 1,200 subscribers. Let's see how many we can get. Woohoo! All right, guys, I'm on Instagram at either Toyota Jeff One or Auto Jeff Reviews. I'm on Facebook at Toyota Jeff. I write for Torque News, torquenews.com slash Toyota. Appreciate everybody. And either of my websites, toyotajeff.com or autojeff.com. Thanks everyone so much. See you next time. We out of here.